Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I am Tinker77. Thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to do a little redstone tutorial on how to do some storage silos. The one that you see to your left is a very, very standard storage silo. The ones on the right have a little bit more redstone, but they allow you access to your items at the bottom, as you can see. So let's get started. Let's begin with a simple storage silo here. It's six high. We've got six redstone lamps. And what you're going to do is you're going to put on the back here, you're going to put a comparator and you're going to put a double chest. Okay. So when this chest gets an item, let's put an item in here. You can see it's got an item. It lights that up because the comparator says there's something in the chest. That's kind of the key for this whole operation. Now, typically, you would do some sort of staggered chests. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. Basically, we're going to stagger up like this. You put a hopper down, and you just got to go all the way up. So you should have something that looks like this. You got six double chests staggered all the way down. And then what you do is you put on where there's a hopper, you have the block, and you have a comparator because it's actually taking the signal from the chest there. So we'll put it on here, facing into the block. That's going into the blocks next to the redstone lamps, okay? And so there we have it. Now let's go and test this out really quick. I'm going to take this block of iron. I'm going to make a bunch of these, and we're going to go like this. I'm holding down the middle mouse button, the mouse wheel, to do that, and it puts full stacks, okay? And it makes it like a copy there, okay? There we go. And you can see that this is lit up. Now, the, of course, the hopper here, um, it has to be filled up too. So we'll do that. There we go. Now, you can see there that still... You only have the second lamp is off, but the first one is on. Let's put some items somewhere up here. You know, we're coming along, and it drops it into the first chest. Let's grab this. And as you can see, as things go into there, it lights it up. Now, this is lit up because stuff is coming into there. So you may not want to have the top chest uh, hooked up to a comparator so you don't get the, the false indicator. But you can see it's lighting up as it goes. This is the basic storage system, okay? Now, I'm going to make a copy of this, and we're going to work on a little bit of a hybrid of this because there's one big problem, is that if you're on this side and you've got this big wall, how do you access your, your chests? I mean, sure, you can see it, what the, what indicators tell you what's in the chest or as far as how many, but you can't access it unless you go around to the back, okay? So let's start working on the hybrid of this storage silo. Okay, we have the six redstone lamps here, just like in the original storage silo. We're going to take out these two blocks. We want to put in a double chest here so that you can access your items. And we're going to put a stair on top of it facing out. So that way from this side, it doesn't look like there is anything different. It looks like the same block, but you can access your chest. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, I've dug out a little spot out here so we can kind of see what's going on. You want to have a slab here, okay? And you're going to take your comparator output going away from the chest there. Okay, that way it's going to signal something's in the chest. See, if I put an item in here real quick, let's grab a piece of dirt, and you can see the comparator's on. Okay, now we're going to put that signal into a block. So there you go, it's a block, so that block is powered. We're going to pass that system down. So it's going to powering down to this block here, which is powering the block below it. We're going to go into a torch. You can see the torch is off. We're going to then pass a redstone signal from there. It's going into the block below here, and then we will put another torch here. So basically, this is an inverted system. We invert on to off, which then inverts it back to on, okay? Take the dirt out here, see the light goes out, okay? So really, that is the first layer of this project done. I filled in the hole because we don't need to access that anymore. And I filled this chest with items so that it's full. And that way, when we go in and try to load things, it'll make this light uh, light up. Okay. So now we have this hopper. I'm also going to fill it up. So it's completely full. So the next item that would come into this chain would be an item that would turn on this light. Okay. So we're going to put down a double chest here and we're going to then put down a block and a comparator on it. This is taking the output from this chest. And again, because the chest below it is full and the hopper is full, if we put an item here, you can see it lights up. Okay. So that's what we're going to work with. Now we're going to put a block so this comparator is powering the block, and we're going to come out of that block and put a piece of redstone. So we're basically turning a corner. We're going to go back over here to light this up. So now we're going to put down these blocks here, and we're going to start to put down a piece of redstone dust. Now, if you look here, it, it attaches to the comparator, and we don't want that because we're not trying to make a loop here. So we're going to take out that redstone dust, and we're going to put in a repeater. So that doesn't connect up, and it moves on. And the other benefit is that the repeater then boosts the signal. Now, this could work if you do this, okay? So now let's put an item in here. You can see that this works, and the light turns on. But what happens, though, if we take out some items here? 
you would expect this to be filling up because the hopper here is uh, full, right? But it's not because this piece right here is locking that hopper, okay? So let's take this item out of here. I'm gonna break this and instead I'm gonna put another repeater here, okay? And so you can see this is already filling up with stuff. If we put an item in here, uh, let's put another stack here, okay? It's still lit up, you can see that that's working and you can see that the light is on, but you can also see this is loading up, okay? So that's why you need to have two repeaters here so you don't lock that hopper that's below, okay? So now we're gonna move on to the layer three and up. The rest of this is pretty easy, okay? I filled this chest up though with items so that we can test, okay? So on against the stair, we wanna put a slab like that. That's so that we can still access this chest and open it, and you're gonna put a comparator on top. And then the rest of this is just staggering up blocks with comparators on top of those. And that's a similar thing to what we did with the original storage silo, okay? Now, we're gonna put in here a hopper. And just for uh, testing purposes, I'm gonna show you that it's full, okay? And so if we have a chest on here, like that, and you put an item in here, of course, it's not gonna be able to go through, and it lights the third light. So the system does work, okay. Now that that's done, we're going to start to do this cascading system here. Put a hopper there, and we're going to put a double chest across like that. And then we'll just keep on going up. It's a hopper. It's a double chest across like that. And another hopper. And a double chest across. Okay. And there we go. We have a storage silo that allows you to access your items from the front. So you can go in here and you can grab some things. And you can see it's still loading up. Nothing is locked even though this is lit up. So this is a great system. The next question is, is the design tileable, okay? So I've copied this over to these two and you can see nothing's in them yet. But if I go up here and put some items in, let's put some items in, let's put like a stack here, okay? And you can see that light, that's our false positive and it's already down to the bottom. So it looks like it's working fine. And again, we're gonna do this up here too. Let's just put uh, three comparators in there, okay? And then our false, false positive light went out, but you can see the comparators are all the way down here. And this is probably still filling up. So it's a tileable design to have all your items sorted into silos. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I really like this design. All right, guys, that should be it. I'm going to try to put this out as a world download so that you can have access to it and see it and try it in your world. I'm doing this currently in version 1.15.2. You can see that on your screen up at the top there. So yeah, I think this works really well. Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks guys, have a great day, bye-bye.